Hi, welcome back to Resin by Drew. Today I'm going to do the second experiment um, on the flowers, making, getting, trying to see what temperature we need to make the flowers bloom. So I'm just pouring some clear resin into the mould. The mould is from uh, Moulds and Shapes. It's just a round coaster mould. It is available in holographic but I'm just using the plain round. Got some about 30 grams again of resin on one side uh, ready to make the white for the flowers. So we'll check the temperature. And the temperature at the moment 22.9 so the temperature at the moment is about 23 degrees celsius um, so today i think we're going to aim for about 35 degrees but we also need to keep an eye on the uh, texture as well because that's obviously going to determine when we're ready to go um, so i'll keep pausing the video and um, I'll come back, keep checking the temperature and um, we'll see where we, where we go from there. So I'll see you shortly. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes since I poured the resin. The resin, I forgot to say, the resin that I'm using is the same as the first test, which is um, Resin Pro and it's transparent resin from Resin Pro. Um, so let's check the temperatures now and see where we're up to. 30.7. 31 is the warmest. Um, so we're averaging about 30 degrees at the moment. And I can tell from the texture that we're not quite ready to go yet. Um, so I'll leave it another 5-10 minutes and then come back and see where we're up to again see you shortly hi welcome back let's check the temperatures again so 34.8 35.8 so i think around 35 degrees so we're probably ready to go i'm using the same white pigment paste which is Lorez expressions in titanium white and I've made my paste popped it into a piping bag so I'm just going to snip off the end Make sure I've got a little tissue ready I can already feel that the paste is not as hot as it was yesterday um, and that's because I've only made the paste up I've had the, I made the resin at the same time as I made the resin to go in the moulds but I've only just added the paste to the resin about 5-10 um, minutes ago I think it's like um, acrylic paint where it thickens quite quickly so um, I, think, I don't think that's, that helps with the bloom not spreading on the first test so here we go with the neck with this test. Again, I'm going to do spirals. This time I'll do spirals in all of them though.
I'm concentrating, sorry. Again, I'm going to go from the outside in to make my petal shape. And again, I'm not touching the bottom of the mould, I'm just taking the stylus or the dotting tool through the resin. You can actually see the whites already starting to bloom in places. It's a much the whites much thinner in consistency than it was yesterday, so I am a lot more hopeful today. And again, the temperature was 35 degrees. We'll see how we get on with that temperature. Just do a little swirl in the middle of each one. And then I'm just going to use my heat gun just to make sure there's no bubbles. Just use it on the lowest setting. So we'll leave those to cure. Um, as you can see, some of them are already starting to bloom nicely. Um, so we'll leave those to cure and I'll demold them, unmold, demold, um, either later on today or tomorrow, and we'll see what the results of this is. See you shortly. Hi, welcome back. It's the next day and these have cured up nicely. So I can see they've certainly bloomed better than the last experiment. Let's take them out and we'll have a look. And this was 35 degrees, just as a reminder. So the resin was 35 degrees. And I only mixed the white pigment paste five minutes before I was ready to use it, although I made the resin for it at the same time as the rest of the resin. There we are, we can see, you can see they've bloomed beautifully, those flowers. Although they're a test, I think I am going to put some glitter or a contrast colour as a backing colour, because um, they have turned out beautifully. Got some lovely striations going on there. So I'm really happy with those. Um, that's 35 degrees again, got some more beautiful striations going on there. 
That is beautiful. I don't think I've ever had striations like that before on a plain white flower. And a plain white flower, I think, is the hardest to do when you've got clear resin and um, just the white pigment paste. Because um, I think if it doesn't bloom or it doesn't bloom right, there's no colour or anything to detract away from that flower. Um, so I'm really, really happy with those. So I'll do another experiment with a different brand of resin now and again try 35 degrees and see what results we get from that. So I'll be back with the next experiment soon. See you soon. Bye.